So today is the day you have been given your 2024 GCSE era for the Hair and Beauty Technicals Awards and the era this year is going to be the 1920s. So here is the brief that we can see. It's your local cinema has organised a theme film night where they will be showing films of the roaring 1920s. They have invited guests to attend dressed in character. You have been asked to create a web page to showcase hair, makeup and now looks from the 1920s to inspire guests and promote the event. You are required to carry out research into 1920s hair, makeup now and now looks and how these were created compared to the way services and treatments are carried out in the hair and beauty sector today. You will be required to write up your research and reference the sources. This research will be used in your web page and to help you promote the 1920s themed hair, makeup and nails look. So as we can see, it's all about the 1920s. We know it's about hair, makeup and nails and we need to look about comparing them to the way services and treatments are carried out back then and also comparing them to how we may recreate the looks today. Um, we've also got an advertising um, event going on. It's got a cinema and there's a film night. So we're looking at maybe getting films from the 1920s, maybe celebrities that were in films from the 1920s. And it's all about creating a web page. Uh, it looks like a local cinema. So a local cinema web page will be going on there. So we've got a lot of research to do this month. We've got four weeks to do research and it's all going to be about the 1920s. Anything that we research, we need to make sure that we have um, the bibliography for it. So that's all the links for whatever we use, whether it's uh, writing or pictures. And we need to save that on some sort of research template. So this is about a bibliography, making sure that we save our research. What we're creating now is just research. So we don't want to make it look pretty. We haven't got to change the fonts, change the colours, um, the backgrounds, anything like that. Just gather, gather, gather. Get as much research as you possibly can. Copy and paste as much as what you possibly can as well. You don't need to do a lot of reading this month. Next month is when you're going to read through your research because Google and the internet will not be allowed in four weeks' time. So you can only use what you've researched. So I want you to gather as much as you can onto this PowerPoint, save it, and then use this PowerPoint to create your actual coursework. You can also do a lot of work at home in your home homework, home spare time. And because it's the 1920s, I think there'll be lots of family or relatives uh, of the older generation that you could possibly speak to about the 1920s. And maybe they, their parents or grandparents might have um, been involved in some sort of uh, event in the 1920s. They might have been flappers themselves. So, and they might also have pictures of family or relatives that you can use in your research. So use all the photos, gather all the evidence that you possibly can. Use your friends and family to help you this month because next month you'll be on your own. And the most important thing is um, plagiarism is not allowed. So um, even though we're asking you to copy, cut and paste this month, next month when you create your coursework, it's all got to be turned into your own words. So nothing can be copy and pasted then um, otherwise, obviously, um, your assignment could be disregarded or marks lost. So looking at the brief that we were given this year and also looking at previous GCSEs that were given out, um, which you can find on the City and Guild website, you can see it's quite similar. You've got hair, makeup, nails for both male and female people. You've got products, tools and equipment. There's images and obviously bibliography for the 1920s and exactly the same for 2024. I've just added in there if you did attend Salon International, you can use maybe the images that you um, took there on your own personal camera to showcase um, extra research as well. And also think about celebrities and the way that they influenced 
everyone else to dress and look the same in that particular era. So when we're looking at the hair, describe in detail about the hairstyles they used to wear and why. Think about the colours, styles, textures they had and what influenced them to wear like this, including celebrity influences. Um, I would say a minimum of three images for the hair looks and also celebrity images. Use annotation on the images. So I'm going to say, don't put a picture in your coursework unless there's a bit of writing going with it. It's like having a, um, a cookery book with loads of pictures of food, but no recipe of how to make it. So make sure that if you're going to put a picture in there, it, is it does include why you're putting that picture in there. What's so special about that picture? What are you showing me about that picture? Is it the hair? Is it the makeup? Um, is it the nails? What, what is it about that? Also, don't just use the internet. There is something called a library, which is available in your local area that you can visit and get research from books. It hasn't just got to be from computers. So um, even if you go to a library, you can take loads of photographs from books on your phone and then come home and kind of use that as your notes as well. I would advise you to use a PowerPoint similar to this or type onto this PowerPoint and create loads of information onto this template. Just keep adding and adding and adding. And then we're going to compare it to looks of 2024. So how are they similar to 1920s? Find pictures of people that have similar hairstyles that we do in 2024 of finger waves and pin curls. How are they different? Use images um, from Salon International. What styles do we wear today that were popular in the 1920s? Um, use your work saved to, for Xmas as well, before Christmas, any work that we did and images Bibliography and annotation is required. We're going to do exactly the same for the men's hair. So put loads of pictures and research onto this slide. Create as many slides as you can. And compare them to looks of today. Are there any men with similar hairstyles to the 1920s? Had, what, you know, what products do they use now? Because I'm sure a lot of the products that they use now were not available in the 1920s. Then we can move on to makeup. What makeup colours were worn? They don't wear every single colour that we wear this day. They chose particular colours and everyone wore the same colour. But what colours were they? What ingredients were used in these products and why? Pictures of all the makeup that they used. Um, and remember, any picture has to have details about it. You can put some arrows to the lips, to the eyes, to the cheeks, to the eyebrows. Be really specific what you're telling me about this picture. And don't forget the library. Compare them with looks of today. So what products we use now? How do we recreate the same look? What products are we using? What eyeshadow do we use now? What kind of pencil do we use? Or is it, or is it a liquid eyeliner now? What mascara do we use? Then we're going to move on to nails. What now looks were really popular then? What did they use then? Did they use nail polish then? Well, what type of nail polish? Did they use UV lights? I don't think so, but why? Images with annotation. And compare it to looks of today. Obviously, we still use nail polish, but what kind of nail polish do we use now um, to recreate the looks? What uh, tools and equipment do we use now? I know we've got all the, the gels going on, but I'm sure there's even more stuff which has been create, um, produced on the market now that you can get your nails done. Visit local nail salons, see what they actually use to create similar looks. Key products and equipment used in the 1920s. So what did they use to create their looks for the hair, makeup and nails? So it's all three looks. Consider the ingredients, tools and why they use them and how they use them. Use knowledge from the books as well as research found online. And can you find any, any of these old fashioned pictures of the tools and the equipments that they used to use? And remember, any picture needs to have annotation. Why are you putting that picture in? What is it showing me? Tech 
technology advancements. So we know that technology has advanced. As you can see down the bottom, there's a picture of a hairdryer which is used in the 1920s. What hair dryers do we have now? How has it advanced? I mean, it looks pretty similar, maybe different shape. How fast is it? How hot is it? Maybe speak to family and friends that might have used those old fashioned hair dryers and tell us a little bit about it. So um, think about finding as many um, electrical items and how it has improved over the years with images as well. Include uh, products, tools and equipment and a lot of writing. Don't forget to do this bit. This will downgrade your uh, GCSE if you don't include the technology advancements. And then I've got a slide there just for bibliography links. So any books that you use, any um, images, any hyperlinks, anything like that, just stick it all on one page. You don't have to have it next to the picture. You can just gather loads and loads. So you could have like three or four pages of bibliography links if you want. And then I've got here a mood board brief. So on this slide, or we'll create another slide, you'll need to put together a look that you're going to be creating on your partner. So research, use Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok, whatever you want to do. Find pictures or videos of something that you want to create on your partner. I want one image of the hair look that you're going to do. One image of the, um, or a range of images, like you can do these, I'm uh, this is what my lips are going to look like. This is what my eyes are going to look like. And um, the blush is going to be like this. The eyebrows are going to look like this. So you can have like bit, bits of bits of um, looks on this slide. It hasn't got to be one picture of one person that you're going to copy. And then the now images as well. Look at now designs. Now art is very popular now. Where do you get your inspiration for now art? If we look at the 1920s, you might look at maybe the feather boa or maybe the detail on the dresses that they used to wear, the flappers, what they used to wear on there. So think about how you're going to use your um, inspiration from the 1920s to create now art on your partner. Um, don't forget everything that you're going to need for the day. Bring it in yourself. If there's any tools and equipment that you've got at home, any products and that, just bring it in and you can use it for your exam day. I will print out, if you create this, I'll print out um, a copy of this in colour for you so that you can have it next to you while you're creating your look. And also in the brief, there was something about a themed night showing films of the Roaring Twenties. So maybe images of movies that were on the, in the Roaring Twenties, images of celebrities, you can just pop them on there. Um, as it said something about films and cinemas on the brief. So that there was all we kind of got from the brief. So we've got to gather as much evidence as we can. This is what I showed my class last year when we were going through the eras and looking at different kind of uh, 1920s and 30s look. Um, lots of pictures, uh, information about flappers, um, stuff about uh, Clara Bow, and we're looking at the Cupid bow lips as well, and the smudgy dark, the smudgy smoky dark eyes. So quite dark eyes. We're looking at thin eyebrows. This is about the lips as well. About the blusher and the colour used. Finger waves. Now a lot of people had short hair back in the 1920s, and I know um, everyone in my class has got very long hair, so we still need to create the look, but on long hair, you can possibly wrap it up at the end and make it look shorter if you want to at the back, or you can just keep it nice and long. But we're looking for finger waves. Now, finger waves isn't a curl. Finger waves is actually a, a kind of a, an S shape, so you're looking more of a beach wave in there. So it comes off the face and it creates an S wave as it goes down. But you have got something called pin curls as well. So the pin curls are kind of curls on shorter hair. 
If anyone has fringes, you might be able to create some pin curls with the short fringe or the short hair. And also some finger waves on top using a lot of gel. The bob was really popular as well. If you've got people with short hair, it's quite a nice look to create. And obviously information about how, who, how the bob was created and who, who created it. And men as well, if you've got any uh, boys in the class, you've got looks as well. So here we've got technical advancements. We've got some images of the 1920s, some of the 1930s. You need to be careful about what you're using. They're not all the 1920s. Make sure that you read what you're doing and what you're using. How they used to do perms as well. And how children used to have their hair cut on rocking horses. How cool was that? Also, um, Betty Boop was really popular. So you might want to do a little bit of research on Betty Boop. Um, other than that, the Gatsby as well. And also the Bugsy Maloney movie. That was really popular. That wasn't made in the 20s. So you've got to be really careful about that. But the look of the movie is all about the 20s. So this is about your look, your brief that you're going to do. I always say think about fancy dress, even though you're not going to dress somebody up in the outfit, by looking at the hair, makeup and nails, you shouldn't have to say what era are you? It should resemble that era. It should look like it. And also think about accessories as well to enhance the look. A lot of um, flappers, they had the headband on. Why don't you create something, a headband to wear, something uh, to really enhance your look and make it look more 1920s as well. There's some makeup videos and hair videos, which is like tutorials, step by step of how to create the looks. And we've got here finger waves and pin curls. Of my brief, you've got looking at a right side parting with finger waves using a barrel curl electrical item. You've also got um, this was my brief that I created. So I'm looking at thin eyebrows, dark brown eyeshadow, uh, dark red lipstick as well in the cupid bow shape, a feather headpiece. That feather headpiece could be a really good design for fingernails, for your nail art as well. And then obviously if you've got shorter hair, when he mails, this was my brief as well for you to use. If you've got a moustache, you can draw that on, make it look a little bit more realistic. And then this was the brief for the nails, looking at the designs of nail art to do and making sure you get the right colours for the era. Black and gold seems to be quite popular in that era as well. So look at the dresses, see what kind of colours they wore then. It's quite hard because a lot of things were in black and white. But speak to people. See if um, anyone has old fashioned garments that they could show you which were worn in the 20s. I know it was 100 years ago, but there must still be stuff available. Or visit museums as well. The v &A Museum I know has a lot of uh, fashionable clothes in. So that there is the 1920s now, and that's everything that you need for this month. Gather as much evidence and research as you possibly can. Just gather, 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 save the link, save the pictures, save it on the same um, PowerPoint, put it all together. And next month, we're going to give you the actual GCSE where you have to use all of this research that you've saved, and you're going to create your coursework from that for your final submission. I hope that has helped you. Um, but any questions, obviously you've got me to ask this month and then you're gonna be on your own to create your work next month.
So good luck, everyone.